If you look at any industry, we see that industry move to a platform business model the moment the critical decision-making factor or the critical source of supply gets digitized. Let's take a few examples. 15 to 20 years back, for the first time, Amazon and Netflix started the online commerce wave when they digitized a consumer's buying behavior. Their innovation was not in delivering things online. Their innovation was in the fact that they knew the consumer and so they could personalize for the consumer. They digitized that buying behavior for the first time, which before them always used to lie in scattered sales receipts. It was not in one place. It was not integrated. There was no way the company could use that wealth of data. Amazon and Netflix used that to start telling cons consumers what to start buying. You, you take it forward in recent times, after the social web happened and after Facebook came in and gave us all an online identity, Airbnb came up because users had an... In, had a real-world identity online. Identity and trust had become digitized. Airbnb could not have happened 10 years before it happened, five years before it happened, because identity and real-world identity had not yet been digitized. And if you want to stay in somebody's house, you want, to have, you want to know the identity of that person, you want to have that trust established, all of which happened at that particular point in time. More, along with that, we started, with the rise of smartphones, we started seeing location becoming digitized. Before the smartphone came up, our actual location was not digitized. The internet was something we would use at a desk, and then we would leave, and that was how we accessed the internet. But the smartphone converted all of us into moving objects for the first time. Because of which, for the first time, a car could become a digital object, no longer just a physical object. And once the car became a digital object, ride-sharing platforms came up. So if you look at uh, Cabify and all of these companies today, uh, we're also going to hear from eMove. We look at all of these examples. They are examples of companies that leveraged the digital location of an object to create a new business model. We're starting to see the rise of freelancer platforms right now with reputation of freelancers being digitized. And if we go to industrial situations, if we look at engines, if we look at uh, car companies, if we look at aircraft companies, we're starting to see machine performance being digitized for the first time. Because machine performance is digitized, a company can respond to a disaster management scenario and come in and do pred predictive maintenance before the change uh, before the, the, the issue actually happens. And so we're starting to see whenever the core source of value or the core source of consumer decision making in an industry gets digitized, you have an opportunity for a new business model. What you need to do when you think about applying platforms in your industry is ask yourself, in your industry, in a, in, from the perspective of supply and demand, what is the new and important source of value or the new and important consumer decision-making factor that is getting digitized for the first time. Once you identify that, you can build a platform business model around owning that particular source of value or owning that particular decision factor. Because then your competitiveness is not about how many products you sell, it's about how much data you have about this new form of digital value in your industry. That is the opportunity that the platform model has for every industry today.